the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 9 Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man for such and one set of his own soul for sale to sale because where he liveth he casteth away his bowels we want to give all praises honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakar Kodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akin worldwide that are sincere and serious in doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakar Kodash. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 1 or 2 to you all I'm the brother disciple Kosha Banyame from the branch of the great millstone Barbados Psalms 39 verse 5 Behold thou hast made my days as a hand breath and my age is as nothing before thee <clears throat> Verily every man at his best state is altogether vanity Salah there's no room for pride, you know what I mean? Um, I wanted to do this video like two days ago, you know what I mean? Because I was, I was, I was funny juggling and um, me and I was working, you know what I mean? And that, that spirit just hit me like, there's no room for pride, you know what I mean? It's like, there's no room for pride because I just see here, man, at his best state, it's altogether vanity because fullness comes if you have a Bahasham, you have a Shai, be this, 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 um, the pride of life is not of the Father. Let me see if we get that scripture, man. Yeah, the Lord don't, the Lord don't deal with that, there, you know what I mean? And, um, I, tr I, the Lord just giving me, the Lord just reminding me of the of my current state. You know what I mean? And to what you have about Hashem, I will share that way. It's good to see this. Um, for, for me, meaning for the, I quoted the scripture, right, in, in the book of John, St. John. It says, for, for me, you can do nothing. You know what I mean? First John 2, 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. <clears throat> and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High shall abide forever. I go, I go, go. Lord willing, really continue with this one here. All praises to Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so I back here uh, to the Spirit of the Lord. Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai. To continue um, and to harp it on pride, you know what I mean, pride um, is a is a real is a pride is a is, is not a trait that the Lord loves, you know what I mean. Which goes back to the word haughty, you know what I mean. So Ecclesiastes ten verse eighteen, pride was not made for men. See. Probably wasn't made for my man, you know what I mean? As in, you're, 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 you're haughty, you're bashful, you know what I mean? You see? You never want to be confident, because the word confident means with faith. Call me with uh, fidence from the Latin, which means faith. So, yeah, you can have faith. You're supposed to have faith, you know what I mean? And you can be proud of things you do, like, you know, proud of. You know, if you if you're a tradesman, you know you you probably get this job done. Etc. But pride, no pride. You know what I mean? You showing off. You know what I mean? You showing off with the things you got. You look it down on others. You become too damn prideful. That wasn't made for men. No furious anger for them that are born of a woman. So pride wasn't made for men. You know what I mean? And um, this guy, one last preset here.
from that's the word. So I like it, man. It one in Genesis, man, that they want to get. Um, <laughs> he spread right here. I never had it all. In the old Genesis 3:19, it says, "In the sweat of their face shall they eat bread." That's why we always toiling, man. You know what I mean? Remember, this commandment was given to Adam. This, 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 this was given to Adam. You know what I mean? He was supposed to be working. But now our enemies are lords over us, so now we got for the one of all things, we got to go to our enemies. You see, in the sweat of their fear, shall they eat bread, till they return unto the ground, for all of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shall thou return. You see, so nothing but dust, you know what I mean? So, what is earth and ashes proud? You know what I mean? Let me see, let me see say in a minute and then they can close. Oh shoot, no, that ain't in the um that ain't Bible concordance. Wait, it's earth and ashes pro, you know what I mean? Um but yeah, you get you, 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 you get the point, you know what I mean? Who you get the point, even auntie who it was I can't remember who it was, I think on the Bukanaza, you lord turned into a beast. He, he had to even acknowledge that. Oh no, boy. Um, Isaiah, boy. Isaiah said, um, Yo, boy, that is it, yeah, boy. Yeah, on clean lips. Then we can shout, shout, man. You know what I mean? Isaiah chapter 6. I gotta start at 1. In the year that King. Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. So imagine, boy, imagine I see Isaiah receiving this vision. The how the apostle Paul saw the vision of the Lord standing alongside his father, Yahweh. Same thing, you know, here, Isaiah here. He says Above it stood the seraphims. Each one has six wings. These are angels. These are angels, right? Each one has six wings. With twain he covered his face. And with twain he covered his feet. And with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. So for you atheists up there, man, you 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 don't even know you you don't even, anyhow. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, "What is me?" This is the point here, boy. Woo. Then said I, "What is me? For I am undone." Come on, man. This body here, man. This is not. This 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 body here. This has its own glory, but it, but the body we can receive, man, that's it, that that immortal body, cause this body dies. You know what I mean? So we 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 you we remain humble, man. You know what I mean? Remain meek as best you can. You know what I mean? In this place, right? Then said I, "Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King." Yahweh of hosts. Wow, man. So imagine imagine seeing that sight. The Apostle Paul said he saw things that he couldn't even, um, it was not worthy for him to speak. I mean, it was so glorious. You know what I mean? So the boss, to boss in his flesh, to boss, to boss in his flesh, man, really, that really ain't cutting it, man. You know what I mean? It's like the boy said, wherever you have is vanity. Man, at his best state, is all but vanity. You know what I mean? It's like, because here's the day, gone tomorrow. You know what I mean? So,
so anyhow my they getting close they didn't want to make it any long, long any longer you know what i mean um yeah what is ever ashes proud man you know what i mean it meant the saints be sorry Mose was a man meat i think that's one too Mose was a man meat if i can't find it right in this shot shot man you know what i mean but see numbers 12 and 3 now the man moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth so moses moses was a humble man man because i were meek there wait is again numbers um numbers 12 lowly me humble especially saintly you know what I mean see he was a humble man you see he was a humble man you see so I can close my you know what I mean and the scripture says the meat shall inherit the earth you know what I mean the meat shall inherit the earth so Hold off a pride for now, boy. Hold off for this. That, that, don't, yeah, don't, those negative ways, you know, don't, don't, that prideful way, you know what I mean? It's when it says pray go before destruction. Right? I'm sorry. Proverbs 16, 18. Pray going before destruction. You see that? And a haughty spirit before a fall. Arrogancy. You see? Arrogancy, man. Arrogancy. Arrogancy, man. You lot don't deal with that there, man. Arrogancy, man. You see? Haughty. Haughty loftiness. Arrogance again. You see? And a haughty spirit before a fall, man. Ruin, you see? And a haughty spirit before a ruin. You see, better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. <laughs> uh, arrogant, you see, same word. I, I mean, I'm seeing meaning arrogant, lofty. See, so I just wanted to, to, to share that, video, that, that, that sentiment, you know what I mean? Right? In a place, there's no place for that kind of character, you know what I mean? Than a good trait, you know? Going always leads to destruction. Shall I want?